The speech I'm going to deliver is on the impact of globalization on culture. My target audience is 15 to 17 year olds who are interested in sociology. Good morning everyone. The other day, I asked my grandpa who lives in a remote village in India, what did you have for lunch? He said that he just had a Big Mac and that 10 years ago, he didn't even know what a burger was. His lunch had always been rice and Indian bread called chapati. That in simple terms is globalization for you. Eminent anthropologist Appa Durai states that globalization refers to a dominant and driving force that is shaping a new form of interconnections among nations, economies, and people. Globalization results in the transformation of all dimensions of contemporary social life, including culture. To understand this, scholars propose three different models, cultural homogenization, cultural heterogenization, and cultural globalization. The cultural homogenization model holds that globalization is causing one dominant culture, for example, American culture, to subjugate or even bulldoze local cultures. Now, the cultural heterogenization model posits that globalization has actually resulted in cultural infusion or hybridity, where different cultures interact and coexist to form new cultural landscapes. For example, the incorporation of Eastern and African beats in American music. Now third, cultural globalization encapsulates the simultaneous process of globalization and localization. These days, McDonald's serve veggie Maharaja Max in India and seaweed shaker fries in Singapore. Now I would like to look at the visible and tangible effects of globalization on culture through the prism of cultural identity. Your cultural identity constitutes a complex tapestry that derives from the doctrine of the people around you, your history, and cultural activities. Because of globalization, it is much easier to access new cultures, which has broadened our horizons and diversified our cultural identity. The free flow of people, goods, art, and information is the reason that you can have Thai food delivered to your apartment as you listen to your favorite UK-based artist or stream a Korean drama without having to actually travel to any of these places to experience their culture. Now, I've observed another phenomenon called detraditionalization that has stemmed from globalization. More and more people are beginning to question their traditional beliefs about religion, marriage, gender roles, and so on. This is because people are more aware that there are alternative ways of doing things and that they can change their cultural identity if they want to. Now for the challenges. The loss of cultural identity occurs when globalization encourages an American ideal of individualism. This promotes a homogeneous set of values and beliefs, and a wave of cultural imperialism threatens to submerge local identities. This has contributed to a rise in extreme fundamentalism and nationalism in some societies. Now I think a key expression of cultural identity is language. As I have witnessed in India, globalization has marginalized and even exterminated some regional languages, especially since the world's dominant economies speak English. Love it, loathe it, globalization is here to stay. It is going to impact the flow of cultural practices, norms, and our daily lives for many, many years to come. Nations and societies need to stay open and dynamic and embrace the opportunities and possibilities that come with globalization. But be rest assured, if you stay true to your cultural foundations, no wind of globalization is going to uproot your cultural identity, no matter what. Thank you.